Hi, it's Rob from Lapbook. And let's talk about pillows. You see, this one is going to be about my favorite new piece of camping equipment from last year. Uh, it's this. Uh, because most years I pick up new bits and pieces of camping gear. Um, some I love, some I hate, but this one was a bit of a hit. By the way, it's a pillow. And that's when I realized that we need to be talking about pillows. Well, I'm trying to explain. Sleep matters, it always matters. And the more tired you become, the more important sleep becomes. But if you're out camping or doing something active like LARPing, but this also applies just as well to festivals or family camping and backpacking, you need to guarantee a good sleep. Now I could talk to you about how to set up to sleep in a tent, but I've got this pillow. And so I want to think about one little thing, one little thing that will make a huge difference to how well you sleep, and that's going to be the thing you put your head on. It really does make a difference. Getting your head, uh, neck and shoulders comfy really helps you sleep well. So we don't focus on everything, just one thing, just the pillows. Now, when it comes to pillows, there's loads of choices. You could roll up some clothes, and I know plenty of people who do that. Uh, you could bring some pillows on your bed. Uh, and there's loads of portable camping options. So sky is the limit. And when it comes to choice, there's just so much. So how do you pick what, what you're going to use? Well, first of all, don't make any changes if you're sleeping well and you're comfortable. Once you've got it right, but stick with it and only change it for the good reason. What about if you need to change what you're doing? It isn't quite working for you or if you're starting perhaps to quip for the first time. What if it's your first year LARPing or your first year at a festival and you're going, well, what do I take? What do I need to buy? Well, a pillow is a good choice. And how do you choose one? Well, it's going to be, I think these, these points make, make a difference. First of all, how much space have you got? A bed pillow is big. And if you're not anything like me, I tend to overpack anyway. So anything I can get in smaller helps. Uh, so if you've got tons of space and you don't mind carrying a large pillow, perfect. If, on the other hand, you don't have a lot of space, then that's going to be your limiter. You can't have a pillow that's bigger than the space you, than what you've got to carry. But it's got to fit in with, with, with uh, how much space you've got to take your kit. Uh, second thing I'd suggest is don't look for the pillows that are crushed down to a really small size. Uh, so the ones that will crush down and then you pull them back and they back up uh they can get really small and tight and that's great on the space side but they don't always come back well to their full size they don't always sort of retain that pillowiness uh, if that's an allowed word also you don't want your head lying on something that sort of is plasticky or rubbery at all anything that uh, doesn't allow for flow of air is ultimately going to feel warm and that's going to get make you uncomfortable and that's going to ruin your sleep so if you're going to look for pillow make sure it's got one with maybe a, a cloth cover or a memory foam cover so that, where, that way when you can't contact your head it help maintain a good sleeping temperature and then if you're buying an inflatable pillow make sure that what it has is an adjustment valve okay it's really important when you blow up an inflatable pillow and put your head in it, that pillow can go really hard. And uh, yeah, you're not gonna, that's not gonna help. What you want is a pillow that's easy to blow up and easy to adjust. So you blow it up and then adjust it down and down until it sort of helps conform to your head or becomes soft enough for you to get a good night's sleep. Uh, inflatable pillows are good, uh, this is one, uh, but only if you can adjust them to get them just right for yourself. So this is why I've got this one it's it's a uh, small but I can carry it easily amongst uh, all my other overpacking I can just check this in it's inflatable and I can adjust it it's got a nice adjustable uh, valve on it it's got a breathable color there's a, a cloth cover fits loosely over where the head goes which helps you uh, keep things comfortable and a personal one for me there's a strap on the back which helps me lock it around my sleeping bag uh, I am terrible for moving around on camp beds. Uh, I'm 
losing pillows and losing uh, uh, basically I had knocked them out of the bed so anything that helps hold it in place is a bonus for me and again that's personal to you some people really need that some don't but for me it was something I ended up looking for and this pillow sort of help can shape nicely because I can I can get it just right that's going to be my suggestion let's get a pay attention to pillow and get a good night's sleep now I've talked a lot but let's show you what I mean so let's get this one out and let's hope I can get it out so let's just gently extract it from the rug let it get out in okay so now you can see roughly what I'm talking about so looking at the back Okay, so these are size of my head, but look at the back, there's that strap which helps me uh, put it in place. And then around the front, it's quite a nice sort of cover here to help me out with, with staying comfy. And then to blow it up, there's a little adjustable valve which I can use to bring it down. Uh, I know some people like to use pumps on these, and that's actually not a bad idea. Um, it helps maintain the interior of the pillow's quality. So, all I've got to do is, I'm hoping I press the valve the right way. Is blow it up there it goes hey exciting video of man blowing a pillow and if I squeeze that that's still a bit too still not quite comfy so then that's why I say get an adjustable valve. It's one way, so I haven't sealed it, but it's still holding pressure. I press the valve in a bit and, and it now comes down a bit inside. Uh, I can get it down a little bit until it's sort of comfy. And then just seal it up and good to go. So I'm going to throw that to one side now. So that's a message for this video. Get your sleeping quarters comfy. And it's easy to overlook, but get something to support your head well. Pillows really do matter. Okay, well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for spending some time and watching this. And I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you.